Hello friends, welcome to this course on HyperMesh. In this lecture, we will learn how to use the ruled function. Now we can find this ruled command. I go to this 2D and we can see ruled. So after the auto mesh, ruled is one of the most important command in the shell meshing. So with this ruled, we can create the mesh with respect to nodes or lines. Now to understand this, go to project file. Go to the folder of ruled, select this ruled file and click on open. Go to this shaded geometry and then here we can see in this file we have some surfaces. So if I go to this components, we can see we have four components. So let's say I go to here by component. So we have different color for each component. Now in these types of situation, I want to show you how can you how can we use the ruled command. So let's say here I want to create mesh with respect to the lines. So from this line up to this. So here what I can do is I go to ruled. So go to ruled here. Now in this ruled. So right now we don't have any node for the reference. So I go to lines from here. So I will select line here and again in the line here. In this I click in this I click on this arrow. So we have mesh keep surface, mesh delete surface, mesh without surface and surface only. So when I select this mesh keep surface, it will create a mesh and also it will create a surface. When I select this option, this it will delete the surface. So this option basically even delete the existing surface. And for the third option mesh without surface, it will not create any surface while doing the meshing. Now let's understand this. Initially I select mesh without surface because initially we have a surface. So I don't want to create any additional surface. So I select the first line then go to this line and then select the second line and click on create. And now we can see the mesh has been created. Here again we have similar option of selecting the mesh density. So here we can select the element size. So let's say I want to change the element size. So just insert the element size 6 and then click on recalculate all and then click on mesh. So in this way we can change the mesh size. So I'm start I'm taking 5 click on mesh. So here we can specify number of nodes on any specific edge. I click return from here. Now we can see the mesh has been created. So in ruled command the mesh go into the current component. So here we can see surface 3 is the current component. So I go to surface 3 click on this mesh. Now we can see all the mesh will go into this component. So if you want to change this current component, I can click on this surface 2. Now we can select the component in which we want to create this mesh. So let's say I select the surface 2. Let's say I want to create mesh between these surfaces. Before that I go to return. We need to split the surfaces. Here we can see there is a gap between these two surfaces. So we need to split them. In these types of situation I go to geometry go to surface edit and then go to trim with line go to surface select the surface here I will select line then normal to surface and then select this line click on trim similarly I select the surface select this line and then select this line click on trim and then I go to return and once again go to ruled now here I want to create the mesh between this surface. But this time we can see on one side we have reference of nodes. So on the one side I will select node. On the other side I will select line. So here I can select node one by one like this. So in ruled command we have to make sure we just have to select nodes in a proper order. So we should not mix the order we have to properly select them. Go to line and click on this line and then click on create mesh. So now we can see the mesh has been created. 
and now we can see there is a proper connectivity okay so we are taking the uniform size we are initially we have considered 5 now we are also now we are also taking 5 so the mesh is properly connected i click return and then i go to the mesh so now i am going to create the mesh here so similar thing we we can do so let's say i create a mesh here so now i go to line to line and then i create a mesh from this line and to this line so select the second line here and then so right now we can see when i select the mesh without surface it will not create any surface but if i select the mesh keep surface and then click on create and click return now all the meshing is going into surface 2 so i so i turn off this surface 2 now we can see a surface has been created here so when we select this mesh keep surface it will create a surface so i am selecting mesh without surface i don't want to create any additional surface so we just need to create the surface when there is no surface so i click on surface 2 and now we can see on to the surface on the both sides we have reference of nodes so here i will select node and here once again i will select node if i click on this node list i can select node by path so select the first node and then select the last node it will automatically select all the nodes here we can turn on the wireframe mode on select all the nodes one by one so also here we can also select the node by path click on mesh click return now once again i go to this shaded geometry now here onto the surface I will create one more mesh so go to line and go to line select the first line and then select the second line click on create here I am changing the mesh flow so let's say I select elements 6 here and then click on mesh also I can change the number of elements here 6 and then click return now what I do I create a mesh between this surface so here we can see we have reference of nodes on both sides so we have to select node and then select node so I can select node by path here also node by now select the first node and then select the last node similarly for the second here turn on the wireframe mode select the first node and select the second node now I go to create now we can see it will show an error two input node list must have an equal number of nodes so whenever we want to create a mesh without surface the number of nodes on the both sides should be equal otherwise it will not create a mesh so if we want to create a mesh in a situation like this we have to select this option that is mesh keep surface select this and click on create and click return so basically with this option an additional surface will be created along with the mesh so click shaded geometry so these are the different ways of creating the ruled mesh